Electronic reading devices like Nooks and Kindles are everywhere. You can buy them in stores or online with the click of a button. Their popularity has many questioning what the future holds for the world of printed literature. Some, like UMass student Z. Hernandez, fear a takeover. I'm worried that at one point we won't use paper anymore. That possibility concerns book dealers at the 36th annual Boston International Antiquarian Book Fair. One of the things I worry about with e-books is if someone decided someday they wanted to censor a book, with a few clicks you could probably censor everybody's copy of it. When you digitize a book you lose aspects of its, of its artifactuality. Participants at the festival, which offered items such as beautifully bound classics, believe the value of the physical book is too important to lose. You can see the objects, you can see the original words, you can see the books that the author touched. You know, J.K. Rowling touches the book, signs it, the author actually had this thing. I think coming in contact with the real thing gives you a much deeper appreciation of the age and quality of what it is that you're seeing. These sentiments are signs of promise, but e-reader sales paint a different picture. A report released in December 2012 by the Pew Research Center found that over one year, the number of e-reader users ages 16 and up rose from 16 to 23 percent, and the number of printed book readers fell from 72 to 67 percent. But despite the numbers, some remain optimistic that e-readers and print books can peacefully coexist. As far as practical reading, I think e-books are great, but people are obsessed with rarity, and I think as long as people are interested in things that are rare and things that are difficult to get your hands on, basically, that will be the case. Well, I like to imagine that there will always be a place to find wonderful books, um, but we ought not put our heads in the sand about the implications of technology. It is perhaps this blend of caution and hope that will be needed as the print literature world finds its place within the advancing digital age.